Okay, well, I don't know what your definition of lucky is, but if your definition of lucky is you get uh, a rant from me, a fifth gem battle, and a fourth gem battle in the same day, then ye are very lucky. And if that isn't your definition of lucky, then, well, I tried. Anyway, Zach made the good point that um, I haven't actually uploaded a proper vid against him in ages, so I was like, well, let's rectify this. Now, I do a bit of funky shit with the Aggron, because I'm trying to get it in to set up Stealth Rocks, but everything he has just defeats it. So I'm going to go to War Rain, because this is my best bet to deal with this clay doll. And he sets up Stealth Rocks and a Reflect, and I'm going to Toxic this thing so it can't do anything. He's going to Light Screen, and my Super Fang misses. Now, most of my Pokémon appear to be incredibly drunk, but if drunkness equals more critical hits, then um, it's effectively tons of misses for a tons of crits. And Zack doesn't get much hack, so... I don't know. It's really quite strange. Obviously, I haven't EV trained my guys in accuracy well enough. Ugh. Anyway, uh, Warren gets put to sleep, and I just want to sit here and see what he's going to do, because I figured he would leak seed first, and if he didn't, then whatever. The point is, I just wanted to see what his gig was, and he goes leech seed, and I wake up first turn and get a yawn off. Now, I'm going to switch out predicting the energy ball, because it's either that or sleep powder again, but I figured since he's about to go to sleep, that would be pretty pointless. So he goes energy ball, and now he's going to be asleep. And now I can finally set up my fucking stealth rocks and stop cocking about, which is what I do. Now, I, my main plan here is now that Agron's set up the stealth rocks, um, he has three potential spinners, which is uh, Hitmontop, Claydol, and Blastoise, which you haven't seen yet. It turns out Blastoise is his spinner, but I do have Spiritomb. However, Agron seems really content to just miss constantly, so it misses two in a row, and then finally hits the third one. Now, after that, I'm pretty much, I've just decided Agron's pointless, he's set up his rocks, nothing seems to be, you know, susceptible to a T-Wave or a Focus Punch without killing him first. So I figure, you know what, fuck this, I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna head smash all day. Which is what I do. So he brings in Claydol, that takes head smash, and he switches out, goes into Blastoise, so... Three potential spinners, and that is some good mind games right there. And, um, I nail a nice, really beefy head smash on the Blastoise, which did a crap ton. But he's just gonna kill me with Surf, again, I couldn't... I decided Agron was dead. I could have switched into War Rain, but there isn't much point, and Spiritomb wouldn't be able to do anything anyway. So now I'm going to go into Absol. I'm going to continue my um, train of thought of just hitting things constantly. So I'm going to go for a Banded Night Slash. That is my this is my main plan at this point. Pile tons of pressure on him until he you know stops me from doing it, and he has done. He brings in this hit on top. Now I'm going to go into Spiritomb because again it's my best bet to deal with it. He does show he has Bullet Bunch, but Spiritomb is so unbearably fucking bulky, it just doesn't care. And I can Will-O-Wisp this thing, however, he makes some nice plays later on, you'll see. So he's going to bring in his Mill Tank, and I do have Hidden Power Fighting, but it's a Mill Tank that's kind of like using a hammer to try and break down the Great Wall of China. It isn't really going to work unless you got, like, a thousand of them. And the Great Wall of China can't milk drink. It, 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 we're getting off topic here. Anyway, I go into War Rain. As uh, he's going to heal Bell. Get rid of the sleep on the Venusaur. Which I think was about to wake up anyway. Uh, uh, War Rain is my max HP, max defense wall on this team. I do have the Gliss score. But that's kind of an entirely different purpose. Now I miss a Toxic. And I know he's going to go into the Venusaur. So I predicted that. And I go with Yawn. Partly because... I figured he'd go into Venusaur, and again, it can't fucking miss, which obviously my guys need to go pick up their glasses from Specsavers. Uh, anyway, I wanted him to go Energy Ball here because I wanted to die, because he is going to go to sleep this turn, which means I can bring in my Gliscor, and I can Power Trick, and I can do all kinds of fun things. So that's brilliant. I mean, if, even if he Sleep Powdered, at the end of the day, I get to go into my Gliscor, it's just a turn later than I wanted. But now I go into my Gliscor, I power trick, and I'm looking good to go. I mean, his Hitmontop is the only real potential threat to stop me from sweeping. Now I go EQ on the Venusaur, and I get a crit. I don't know if it mattered, but I am max defense impish, so yeah, that's like 383 attack. So I don't know if it did. And here I go Sky Attack, because it's going to be the defensive wall, and Gliscor misses. 
God damn it, where are your glasses, Gliscor? Duh. And then he serves me, I'm like, well, fuck, that's a waste of Gliscor, and I live on one HP. And I'm like, oh, lol, lol, lol. Gliscor um, appears to have forgotten its glasses, but obviously brought a focus band instead. And then I go, earthquake, and I get a crit. So, in summary, all of my team appears to have focused energy at one point, and all of them are just sort of doing whatever the fuck they want. But in comes the Hitmon top, and it's going to bullet punch and kill me. So Gliscor's sweep was cut a bit short. But there you go. What are you going to do? Now I go into Spirit Tomb, and he makes the great play. He didn't show his Houndoom earlier, but now he does, and he's going to get a Flash Fire boost off of it. However, these um, our last two pokes were this Houndoom and the Blaziken. So our two sort of hidden um, trump cards, if you will. Now I'm going to see what he wants to do. He's going to go overheat. I was thinking maybe he'd Nasty Pot so I could hit him power fighting it, but nah. No dice there. He's going to overheat me. And now I'm going to bring in Blaziken because he's effectively wasted his boost. I can get sub going. He's going to bring this mill tank. I know that unless he's especially a defensive variant, which I don't see why. I think most people are on physical or mixed. I don't know. I, fo I figured a focus boss to kill it. However, he's quicker. Which uh, I astounded me a little bit, kind of. I mean, I don't. I have max speed, and I'm not a plus speed nature, but I still have 250 speed. Although Mill Tank is actually pretty quick for what it is, so that's I don't know. He must have been running quite a lot of speed. Anyway, Focus Boss gets another crit and kills that. In comes the Hitmon top. I know he's gonna go fake out, so I'm gonna go into Absol, who's gonna live the fake out because I told it to. Yes, that's pretty much my plan there. If it critted, I was fucked. And I go Sucker Punch thing, and I'm banded, max attack, adamant, and it doesn't kill. So fuck you, hit him on top. So it max punches me, and I'm gonna go down. And then it all comes down to this. All I have to do is live and overheat and hit my Focus Blast. All he has to do is get a crit or make my Focus Blast miss. And he's gonna overheat, and lo and fucking behold... He is going to get, I think that's his only crit of the game. So that is great game, Zach. Hope you have all enjoyed. And uh, go watch the Rage vid. It's funny. Whatever. I don't know. Blah, blah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace.